Uh, we're trying to prove that these functions are even. And this is the function that you've got. Okay. Now, by the way, I don't know about you, uh, maybe you just started launching into the algebra mindlessly. Um, when I looked at this question the first time, because I, I didn't write this sheet, I thought, really? Um, what's, what is an even function? Uh, an even function is symmetrical. What kind of symmetry does it have? We gave it a name. Uh, yeah, it's, it's across the y-axis and you can reflect across, right? So it looks the same on one side as the other. So things like, you know, the classic, classic example I gave you was, um, you know, x squared. Sorry, use your imagination. Okay? But you look at this thing, right? And um, one part's a log function, and the other part's um, minus half x. Now, neither of these are even, right? Well, are they? Um, a log function, what's a log function look like? A log function normally doesn't even exist on the left-hand side, right? Um, and then this minus half x business is, that's, that's not even at all, right? It's not even not odd either, okay? So... It's a bit of a mystery, how can these two weird pieces come together and be even? Um, if you, you guys have got laptops, you're that generation, so you can go and open up the, um, the program on your laptop and you can stick that in. I can show you how to type that up if you're not sure how. And sure enough, it looks like that. <laughs> really? How does, how does that work? Okay. Um, so it, it is even, so how do we prove it? Okay. Let's just revise. Um, what are you required, sorry, required to prove? to say something is an even function. What's the actual final line? What's your conclusion? Yeah? Good. That's where we want to end up, yeah? So I've got my f of x here. So all I have to do is say, well, what's f of minus x? And I should be able to do some working, okay? And end up back where I started, because these two things should be equal, okay? So the first step is just a straight substitution, right? So I've got log one plus, and here's my first x. So I'm going to replace it with a negative x. Okay. And then I have minus x, so there's going to be a double negative there. Okay, so I'm just going to write that as plus half x. Okay. Now, um, I would forgive you if you looked at that and thought, well, now, now what? Because <laughs> um, there's a log thing, and you can't really... It's not like you can just break this apart. I once saw someone you know, write this. Um, you know, something like this, which is log times 1 plus e to the minus x, and it just sort of floated off on its own and did its own thing. Um, you know, like sine and cos and tan, this is one piece, okay? So you can't just break it apart. So what do you do then? Um, you do need to know some log rules to end up simplifying this, but my clue is to think, I've got to somehow get this to look back like this again, right? This log function and this log function obviously have something in common. So what can I do to this to make it look like that again, okay? Well, um, there's going to be some multiplication involved, right? This is e to the minus x, so that's like 1 on e to the x, okay? So e to the minus x, just think back to your um, index laws, okay? So uh, cross the line, change the sign, that's the way I remembered it, okay? So if that's 1 plus 1 on e to the x, I can bring that back to something very similar by multiplying through by this. Okay, before I go any further, can you see, I haven't actually changed anything. I'm multiplying everything there um, by 1, right? So that's why it works. I haven't actually mucked around with anything. And I've got my half x floating over here, okay? Now, this hasn't improved anything, but I can actually start to expand this out here. And this will be a fraction on the top. So I've got e to the x plus, okay, e to the x, e to the minus x. When I multiply them, what do I get? Just, just one, right? Because it's multiplying it by its reciprocal. Yeah. So one over one e to the x. Okay. Now, even though we're not there yet, this is promising because um, that e to the x plus one is the same as that. That's e to the x plus one as well. It's just a different order. Okay. All right. Now, I've got that part sorted, but you're going to need to remember your log laws to see well, what my results should have is no fractions, right? So how am I going to get this out? Do you remember with logs, okay, when you've got division inside the log, you can convert that to something else. Does anyone remember the rule? Yeah, so division inside becomes subtraction on the outside. Um, and the flip is also true. Um, multiplication on the inside becomes addition. 
So there's the first part, that's the numerator, and subtract the denominator. Okay? And then I have my half x floating over here. Okay? Now that was really the hard part. From here, there's one more little rule here. I don't know if you remember, that's a definition. By definition, that's x. But if you can't remember that, you can also use um, that power because it's up inside there. I can take it out the front and it becomes the coefficient. Yeah? So this can be, let's put that around the right way, 1 plus b x. I can bring the x out the front. Okay? And ln, right? That's just shorthand. What's it shorthand for? Natural log. Yeah, good. Log base um, e. It's the natural number for a log. Log base e of e. And there's my half x. Okay? So what's this thing asking? Do you remember? Um, you know, when you first looked at logs, you really got to in, get into your head. What does this actually mean, apart from all the formulas and stuff? It means, what power do I have to raise the bottom to, to get the top, right? 2 to the power of what equals a, and that's why that's 3, right? What power do I have to raise e to, to get e? Just, just 1, right? So that's why I've got this at the front. That's minus x plus half x. Which gives you what we were searching for. Done. I suppose I should probably say that's f of x. Ta-da! Okay. Now, um, there are a few things in here that are um, tricky. Maybe, maybe just two, really. First, you really got to know um, your log laws, right? So going from here to here, and then going from here to here, <coughs> and remembering those parts that you can simplify that. Uh, and secondly, you sort of have to get this part. It's kind of hard to get, just sort of like, where'd that come from, okay? Um, remember, I was trying to walk you through. I was trying to turn this back into that, right? You've got to multiply through by something, okay? So that's why, that, that was gamma, and beta is much the same.